Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are getting started with chapter 7 where we'll be talking about test related concepts of AI based system and right from here this particular syllabus will turn around towards the test engineers and understanding the aspects of what it takes to do a testing for AI based system altogether. So this chapter seven will be on the overview. And of course, this covers a lot of topic here, uh, specification of AI based system, the test levels for AI based system, the data for the AI based system, automation bias for the AI, uh, documenting an ML model, testing for concept drift, and selecting a test approach for an ML system. So put together almost everything what a fundamental tester should know about AI testing should be included in this particular chapter and we'll be going through each one of them one after the other. So in this tutorial we'll be getting started with 7.1 uh, specification of AI based system and uh, let's look into what exactly do we have in the specifications. Well, of course, the definition of the word specification comes right from the fundamentals and basic outline of being uh, an engineer itself that specifications are the requirements uh, and it could be anything like which basically talks about a basis for testing, right? So it could be a requirement, could be a design, could be any such information which a tester can make use of to derive the test cases is what we call it as specifications. So system requirements and design specifications are equally important for both AI-based systems and conventional systems too. These specifications provide the basis for a tester to check whether actual system behavior aligns with specified requirements. However, if the specifications are complete and lack testability, this introduces a test oracle problem. Now, of course, the fundamental pretty much is being recalled here that what is the use of a specification for a test engineer, which is pretty much even the same for AI based system. And uh, when it comes to any kind of deviation from the expectation that certainly introduces that your information or uh, the evaluations are not going up to the mark, right? So that creates a defect or that creates a bias and what that is what we need to take care of. So there are several reasons why the specification of AI based system can be particularly challenging. So right here, we are very first talking about the challenges of writing the specifications for AI based system. Number one, in many AI based system projects, requirements are specified only in terms of high level business goals and required predictions. A reason for this is exploratory nature of AI based de system developments. Often, AI based system projects start with data set and the goal is to determine which predictions can be obtained from that data. This is in contrast with specifying the required logic from the start of a conventional project. So pretty much here, people are not exactly sure that how the AI based system will actually behave, right? We do have the requirements. We are not trying to tell you that, hey, we are starting a project which doesn't have any kind of expectations. So we do have an outline with us, which is very, very high level, but we don't have any kind of uh, very, very, very specific requirement that, hey, this is what I want. This is what a text field is. And I want this text field to collect name of the user or email ID of the user, which is very precise. But in AI based systems, we cannot be so precise because uh, the system completely depends on how exactly it's being trained and what would be the desired output from this particular machine, right? So we, in fact, even if we have a prediction, even if we have an expectation from the AI based system, that could be different from what we were actually expecting. So we may have the specification in terms of uh, the data, what we are using basically to train on, and the set of predictions, what we are actually looking at. So predictions will have our tolerance and business goals that, hey, I want to automate a chat GPT kind of concept, but I want to also have this much accuracy there, but I cannot be more more to the point and very specific that, hey, this is exactly what I want to see. And if it doesn't happen, that's going to be considered as a failure. Now, that's not the case here, right? So that's one challenge which comes to a tester directly that, hey, we have lack of information, lack of specification, or we may have to explore a more deep dive uh, during the executions when we test them. 
Second, uh, of course, the accuracy of AI-based system is often unknown until the test results from independent testing are available. Along with the exploratory development approach, this often leads to inadequate specification as implementation is already in progress by the time the desired acceptance criteria are determined. So point being made here again here is the challenges are uh, the accuracy of the AI-based system because we don't have anything predefined here. Of course, we do have a data set which basically determines what exactly we are expecting the AI-based system to do. But down the line, as you start doing the exploratory development, not testing, development, because development is also more about what exactly are we supposed to do at this point of time what more we need to do, how we need to do, etc. So similarly, that particular uh, exploratory approach will determine what is the specification, what is uh, the exact expectations, and so on, because at this point of time, the acceptance criteria will be determined. So we don't have anything much before, like conventional projects that, hey, you have a user story, and you have an acceptance criteria. All you have to do is design, develop, and test it according to this, which does not happen in AI-based systems. Point number three, the probabilistic nature of many AI-based systems can make it necessary to specify tolerances for some of the expected quality requirement, such as accuracy of prediction. So tolerance is one of the things which comes handy along with uh, such challenges what we face in AI-based system that, hey, we cannot talk about having a very, very specific uh, you know uh, prediction in terms of being accurate so we always look forward to have that tolerance what we really need to have in order to be as close as possible to requirement but at the same time having a range that hey it can be slightly less here slightly more there it can be precise in some cases in some cases it might be slightly deviating so we just have to agree to that Next, the where, where the system goals call for replicating human behaviors rather than providing uh, specific functionality. This often leads to poorly specified behavior requirements based on the system being as good as or better than human activities to it aims to replace. This can make it difficult to define a test oracle, especially when the human it is replacing very widely in their capabilities. So test oracles, again, like being referred to as all the information what you are documenting towards this testing of AI-based system. And uh, when it comes to defining these specific uh, requirements, again, here are one another challenge is how precisely or how good I'm trying to make the AI-based system to replace one of the human activities, right? And um, that is the preciseness of that information. So certainly sometimes you may be very, very close to that activity being replaced by AI-based system, or sometimes it's really difficult to you know, define that. So this, this really makes uh, the job of writing the information related to it very difficult. And uh, humans are totally different in that context. Sometimes I have different perceptions towards the same thing right sometime i prefer getting up in the morning to do some job but sometime i even do sleep late or get up late because i don't have anything to do today i can push some things up so i'm not very very um to the point like i have a schedule and i have to follow that every single day and this is what my pattern is i could be unpredictable sometime and that's where ai based system can deviate from the expectations well, the next one is where AI is used to implement user interfaces such as natural language recognition, computer vision, or physical interaction with humans. The system needs to demonstrate increased flexibility. However, such flexibility can also create challenges in identifying and documenting all the different ways in which such interactions might happen. Now, of course, so talking about some of the common practices where AI-based systems are used, that is like language recognition, so auto-detect languages on different platforms today, computer vision, which is like CCTV, and uh, physical interaction with human, right, which is like kind of helping you with a robotic arm to do uh, some of your activities where you can program it and this could, you know, help you do that. Or even you talk to a robot, right, when you say, hey, CD, and CD wakes up and starts talking to you, that's more of like what we're referring to. So all these uh, kind of, you know, um, interaction of AI-based systems needs uh, 
increase flexibility because we need to have the freedom that when a user is trying to you know interact with Alexa, Siri, or Google, they must have freedom to ask any sort of questions, and we must have a, a predictable responses to that, which is appropriate as appropriate as possible. So such things would certainly be difficult to understand and identify the required ways in which such interactions can happen. I, I can look forward to call Siri and ask for anything and that Siri probably may not be trained on. So that could be a challenge. Another important thing here is quality characteristics specific to AI based systems such as adaptability, flexibility, evolution and autonomy needs to be considered and defined as part of requirement as well. The novelty of these characteristics can make them difficult to define and test. Because, of course, you know, they are very, very unpredictable. Uh, putting it all together, like, in the event comes to requirement, be it about functional or non-functional, things are pretty unpredictable. And we, as a tester, face challenges to get that information, what we really need to have in order to decide whether the system is actually working as expected or not. So the more you are, you know, being aware of the goals you know better about what exactly the system should do and what a human should be uh, doing at this point of time or using this particular option or a human action, then it would make more sense and being more applicable. Anyway, so that's all what we had from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.